Hello and welcome to another Spirit Island video. Today I'm going to be doing something a bit different and talking about how to create your own custom content for Spirit Island. One of the great things about the Spirit Island community is not only is there like an amazing community for just talking about the game, talking strategy, sharing various fun things that happened in various games, things like that. There's also a great community centered around creating custom content for Spirit Island, whether this be like your own custom spirits or just aspects for existing spirits, adversaries, which are uh, especially uh, challenging to create, create scenarios, power cards, things like that. There's plenty of people who are really excited about creating this custom content for Spirit Island, pouring their own ideas into the game. And there's also actually an official FAQ statement uh, about this from the uh, publisher and developers of the game. So basically, um, they've said that is 100% fine to create and share your own custom content for Spirit Island, except they only request that some very, very reasonable things. A, don't charge money for it. B, don't claim it's an official Spirit Island product, and C, don't post for it on uh, post about it on the Greater Than Games uh, official forums, uh, and that's just like very specifically those forums you can post on Discord, you can post in like Board Game Geek, whatever, just not on the official Greater Than Games forums. In addition, the designer, uh, the lead designer for uh, Spirit Island, uh, Eric Reyes really enjoys looking at people's custom content, but also wants there to not be that awkward thing of like, oh, looking at people's content might influence like, you know, uh, future uh, like content that he creates and he doesn't want there to be like weird awkwardness there. So if you want, um, if you want like the developers of Spirit Island, like the actual developers to like look at, uh, be able to look at your content, um, he requests that you uh, include the following statement that you have read and agreed to, to the terms for uh, creating Spirit Island game elements set forth in this FAQ, and specifically these terms that you have no uh, that like the developers have no obligation to look at your ideas. Uh, you're not owed acknowledgement for your ideas, and you're not owed compensation for your ideas. And this is this part is specifically so that you know developers can. Uh, interact with and look at people's custom content. You're still fine sharing it. If you if you don't include this statement, you might not get specifically the game developers to look at it. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Very nice that they have like an official statement on this, very clear guidelines on, yes, you're just allowed to do this. Um, and just very open to fans enjoying the game and putting their own ideas into the game, which is nice. So now that we've gone over that, how do you get started? Well, there's actually quite a lot of resources that the community has developed uh, for uh, getting started creating like custom content. Uh, and a big part of that is actually the Discord server. So uh, I would highly recommend if you're at all interested in custom content, either creating custom content or just like seeing other people's custom content, you join this Discord. I'll put a link in the description, um, but uh, this should also be linked from the main Discord, Spirit Island Second Wave, in the uh, player-made content channel. Uh, it should be in the pins. Oh, yeah, this is the premier uh, server for discussing custom content for Spirit Island. There is uh, quite a lot here. Um, it recently went through a restructuring, so there's still a bit of like rough edges to smooth out with the new uh, structure of the server. Previously, it had been using a lot of categories and channels. Now we, that's moved to uh, forum threads. Uh, which is just a bit cleaner, uh, less like less long in the sidebar, uh, sidebar mostly. But yeah, so just to break down the server a bit, uh, there's some general discussion, uh, server discussion is mostly for discussing like server policy stuff. Then there's this category here, design resources, which is very useful. There's stuff talking about tabletop, how to like interact with tabletop simulator, um, a channel here talking about the website builder, which I'll get into a bit later. Some useful reference information, which includes a lot of good advice from various people, including the actual Spirit Island developers, um, like, and also people who are just like very experienced with uh, Spirit Island custom content design. Uh, just a lot of good information about how to design things in Spirit Island. Things like, for example, uh, like what various elements are themed, uh, or like here, this is like uh, some rough energy values for various growth options, like how much is a card draw worth? Oh, it's worth about three energy. 
or at least that's how much is generally costed, um, things like that. And there's a couple um, channels for uh, art resources and discussion as well. Then the meat of the server here is in this development category, uh, where everyone, um, well, uh, everyone who like is develop actively developing some content, whether it be a spirit or a adversary, uh, tends to like create a channel here and work in that channel. So how this works is there's these forms, right? Uh, spirits development, for example, this will have all sorts of threads for various spirits uh, that people are working on. And people will generally, you know, post their progress here and like a lot. Lots of lots and lots of discussion on like various balance things for the spirit, various theme things. Like the, the whole development process is really interesting to see. Uh, for example, I have a couple. I haven't worked on uh, this one for a long time, but Weaver of Fates and Twines all. This is one of mine. Like I'll, I'll post like you know card images and like the image of the board, and as well as like TTS files. And there's a few um, points of discussion here. But again, I haven't worked on it that uh, in quite a long time. There's also some tags that you can use for these uh, for these posts, and you can filter by them as well. Uh, there's tags including uh, focus development here uh, versus relaxed development. That's just like do you, how much time are you putting into this? Like, are you going to like actively respond to feedback, or is it more chill? Um, so a conceptual alpha and beta are for marking like how far along in your process is this? Like, is this just like the initial ideas for conceptual? Are you like in the early stages of development for alpha? Are you like really close to being done with beta, right? Um, then there's like some tags for specifically calling out, I want some critique, I want testing uh, with these two. Um, and there's a com compilation tag just for like, you know, uh, channels that are more and not dedicated to just a, a single spirit. And then there's a few for released, inactive, abandoned, and went through beta, etc. And you can see some active development going on right now. Uh, in addition, there's the similar things for adversaries, aspects, other things. Yeah, a, a lot of interesting development going on here. There's also some general discussion channels for like things that don't quite fit in those. But yeah, very interesting, would highly recommend checking it out. Uh, there's also some uh, deprecated channels down here. Uh, well, I guess the released spirits, uh, adversaries, and other channels are like for spirits that have been released. Like some of these are uh, some of these are quite old uh, range, and some of them are even somewhat recent. But like this is mostly for contents for which the author uh, has deemed like it's close to it's like close to or at like a ready state they're not really going to work on it uh, anymore and you know um, they feel like it's ready for release uh, and then uh, further down there's some more deprecated stuff uh, the, these two uh, projects idea and projects testing these were used to be how the spirit how the um, server was organized but most of the channels got moved to the forums or at least the ones that were actively being worked on and then there's some inactive uh channels as well for projects where like the the creator has no um no intention of continuing with um so yeah in addition uh there's a very neat new addition which is the spotlight uh so this is a bi-weekly uh once every two weeks thing where uh was someone's content is uh, put here uh, as a shelling point for everyone to focus on and a spotlight for uh, their content. This is meant for content that is like somewhat close to being ready, but like needs some finishing touches. And like, you know, if people decide that like it's it's probably not actually that ready for release, then you might go back to the drawing board a bit and like continue working on it. But Basically, this is just to highlight uh, a cool piece of content that someone in the server has made, and like uh, get a lot of people together to say to like try it and give their thoughts. Um, so I'm probably going to be making some uh, like videos about spotlight content uh, coming up. Like once, whenever uh, the spotlights happen, uh, I'm going to make one for the current spotlight, Little Light Stream of Peace, later this week. So look forward to that. Um, so yeah, uh, spotlights are very cool. There's something that came with the new server organization. Very cool way of uh, showing off people's content. So yeah, um, that's this Discord. Uh, lots of useful things. Uh, now I'm going to more specifically talk about uh, like how you uh, like mechanically create 
uh, custom content. Specifically, there is a very useful tool uh, that is the Builder web app. So this is the Spirit Island Builder web app, and this is a tool made by fans uh, for creating custom content, and it's very, very useful. It's uh, specifically very useful for formatting and uh, like just making your spirit look like a spirit island spirit, right? Um, like pulling all of these like assets together, like you can see here, like Volcano is recreated here by default. Uh, and you can see like, you know, the presence tracks are laid out as you might expect them, the growth, uh, special rule, innate, things like that. And there, uh, this website isn't perfect. There are some limitations to it if you want to do especially weird things. It, um, it might break a bit and you might need to like edit it yourself in like some image editing uh, tool, but it is very, very useful uh, as a baseline and also very useful for making TTS files because uh, it also does that automatically, which is neat. So it'll basically, uh, basically you can just like input uh, various things for how your spirit works. And there's various like, there's various syntax things that you can use to like, uh, for example, um, let me give an example here. Uh, like you can see here, we have our th three special rules for volcano listed. Um, and you can see that the presence is represented by this, you know, uh, the word presence in brackets will render as this uh, presence icon, which is neat. And similarly, like if I add Dahan here uh, and I uh, update the preview, you can see that I added a Dahan symbol. And that's very useful, just like being able to like uh, use these uh, various symbols uh, and uh, that Spirit Island uses um, and like have this formatting that looks uh, very much like what a spirit looks like. That's very neat. You can also like, you know, add your own art here or your, uh, for the spirit and like the banner art, things like that. Um, yeah. So in addition, there's various things you can do. There's, uh, with, uh, various categories. Uh, really you should just like, if you want to like create, I'm not going to go over everything in detail here, but like, if you want to know how to use this, uh, uh web app, you just like click through it. it. It's pretty intuitive to understand. And there's also like a bunch of, um, documentation here of like, oh, uh, if you want to like, I would say reclaim, uh, X. Right, that uh, it, like re reclaim dash all will do the reclaim all symbol. Reclaim dash one will be reclaim one. Reclaim dash half will be reclaim half. Or you could say like a different number, like reclaim three in order to reclaim three cards, I think. And like lots of different documentation for what you can do. Uh, you can also make your own custom uh, growth uh, actions here, like with your own text, uh, with your own icons, things like that. Uh, and you can upload your own icons down here, um, in order to, uh, like have those icons appear, um, on your spirit board. Like if you want, uh, if you want to create a new concept of like, oh, this is a, th this icon means some, something that counts as both a beast and a wilds or something. I don't know. Uh, something weird like that. You can upload it here, use it on your spirit board, uh, things like that. And there's also, um, other tabs here for like the back of spirit boards that includes like, you know, the lore blurb um, with here and also uh, set up play style complexity uh, and also again, more custom icon um, support. Then you can make power cards for your spirit. Um, this uh, supports four by default for, you know, unique powers. Um, you, there's various tools for like having thresholds, having uh, different, uh, elements, uh, things like that. Uh, and then you can make aspects or other special cards on this tab and adversaries on this tab. There's just a lot of tools for doing basically whatever you want and formatting it to look like Spirit Island, which is really nice. Um, again, it's not perfect. There's a lot of like dynamic sizing that goes into it that might get a bit wonky if you try to do like weird stuff. Um, also like, uh, sometimes it doesn't support things like, for example, innates it's hard for it to to get it to format like more than two innates well um like since like most spirits just have two innates right usually unless you're something weird like starlight it's it's probably going to be really hard to recreate starlight's board using this builder but like for anything um like normal that you're going to do it's going to be quite a nice tool
Okay, so finally I'm going to go over a bit how exactly you move around the files for this builder because I think most of the other stuff is like explained well like as you go through building it, but the file manipulation can be a bit unintuitive. So first of all, for all of these tabs, you'll have these buttons here, load, save, download image, and export TTS file. And uh, those will, uh, w if you save, it'll give you a HTML file that you can then load in order to like you know, save your progress and load it again. Uh, so you want to load that HTML HTML file specifically. You can download image to give you a PNG. I think right now there's actually a bug where you can't download the image, so uh, for, for the board at least. So I'll need to deal with that later when I uh, demo the TTS stuff. But um, you can also export the TTS file as a JSON object uh, file. So this is a file with the dot JSON and uh, JSON extension. Um, and that's how you load it into TTS. And this is available on like all of these tabs, cards, aspects, adversaries, etc. I think the adversaries aren't actually scripted for TTS as much, but like power cards and spirit boards definitely are. So um, I'll uh, give an example here of uh, I have this uh, folder here where I downloaded everything uh, from the default example. So as you can see here, we have uh, some HTML files here uh, for the spirit lore, which is the back, and the spirit board, which is the front, the power cards as well, all in one HTML. So you would just, uh, those are what you get when you hit save, then you can load them back in in order to uh, like reload your progress. Um, always remember to save. If you like refresh the page without saving, it won't save your progress. So uh, you need to save by like saving these files. Then, uh, as you can see, there's some PNG files. There's, here's the spirit board back and the power cards uh, that were saved individually. But uh, the front, for some reason, isn't working. That download image button, I'll uh, talk to the, uh, I'll probably bring that up with the uh, website maintainer because that seems like a pretty crucial uh, bug right now. But uh, then finally, there's these JSON files for importing into TTS. Um, so you have this, there's no TTS file for the spirit board back because you, it's all just one object tied to the front of the board. Uh, so that's your volcano looming high TTS.json and export card TTS.json as well. Uh, that uh, uh, is a TTS object for all of the cards. Um, so what you want to do is you want to load those JSON objects into uh, your saves folder on T uh, for TTS. So I've uh, popped those up here uh, on Windows and Mac. These are what they are. I don't know exactly for Linux. I personally like moving it to the saved objects folder within the saves uh, folder, but like there should be a subfolder called saved objects, but you can also just load it into the saves folder and I'll show you the difference between the two uh, in TTS. So after you've done all this, uh, you can go over into your TTS. Uh, as I have the uh, base Spirit Island mod loaded here. I don't need NI for this. So if you saved it uh, in the saves folder, then you'll, this should be here under like this this bottom uh, row here, save and load. As you can see here, you have a volcano looming dot 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 and export cards TTS. Uh, those are the two things that I put there. Um, so you want you would want to additively load these. And as you can see, these come without pictures, uh, without the images. So uh, when you load this uh, custom TTS object, you want to select the image. So since I don't have the front image, I'll use a different image for the front. Uh, let me actually load the back first. So the bottom image, I want to be this backside. And you really want to uh, click cloud here. You want to upload to Steam Cloud so you can share this more easily. Because otherwise, people won't have access to uh, this image. And then let's uh, load the front as well. Let's just, I'll just grab like a different fr uh, board front that I had from a different spirit. And again, upload to cloud, um, sure. And then uh, I'll click this import button and that then will load this once it finishes loading. Uh, so you can see this is the board back and the board front uh, is not the correct board, but um, close <laughs> because I don't have the image. But this actually has the correct TTS um, uh, scripting. So then after you load that in, you'll want to load in the cards as well. And so again, you want to add the load here. Uh, and sometimes these cards get uh, are sometimes th these cards will be invisible because they're like stuck in the table. If you highlight over them and pick them up and move them around, then they'll start being visible. And as you can see, these also don't come with images. Um, the back is just 
uh, a generic back and the front uh, is just a generic front, um, but they do come with the names. If you see on hover, this says like example one, example two, example three, example four. So uh, what you want to do is right click on each of these, click custom. So this one's example number one. Uh, and then again, you want to load in these images. So for this, um, let's see, I want to load in example number one on the front and again, upload it to cloud. You can leave the back untouched. It doesn't really matter what the back looks like. It can look like this. And then you can see here the example number one from uh, that uh, builder website was loaded in. And similarly, you can do that for the rest as well. I'm probably just not gonna do all of them, but um, these should all be loaded in. So after you do that, generally what you'll want to do is you'll want to stack all of these on top of each other. So uh, stack the cards on top of the board as well and then you want to highlight everything right click and uh save so uh you want to specifically where is this um save object this is uh, under toggles and tags there's a save object thing and you want to save that object as say yeah let's save this as volcano looming high and now that will be our, in our objects folder so this is why i like using the saved objects folder to begin with as well as you can see um we, this is our saved object with both the cards and the board uh and also this one right here uh, this is the uh, thing that, like I loaded it both into the saves folder and the saved objects folder. If you use the save objects folder, it'll just be in here and you can drag it out into here and do the same stuff with that. And you can also drag the exported cards out here and do the same uh, things with that. Uh, and then again, like save it in your objects. But yeah. And then now we don't need these, so we can delete them uh, from here. Yeah. I don't know why this doesn't have a true spirit button on it. I think something else with the website might be broken. Generally, uh, when you load the board, it should have this true spirit button. And uh, for example, if I click this, it'll automatically do all the scripting. As you can see, it'll put all of the present in the right spots. And these do have that nice um, snap ability from TTS as well. And as you can see, like if I uncover this sun, then you, you can see here that it gives me a sun properly. Uh, the scripting is all very nice. And if you see here, if I play this card, it'll properly give me my three elements from playing this card and detect that the energy cost is one. So yeah, that's all really neat. Um, once you have saved your object in this, uh, like save the object here of like this, right? in your saved objects folder. Oh, I think the reason why it didn't work for Volcano was because the name was the same as like regular Volcano. So that that's why the true spirit uh, button wasn't there. I think when if you try to load two versions, it won't be able to load both of them properly. But uh, once you have this object like that saved, you can then um, copy that uh, JSON object. It'll be in your saves folder um, again. Uh, and share that online uh, and that will let people import that into their own saves folder and load that themselves and that uh, that will be very convenient for sharing around um, custom spirits that you want other people to try or like other custom things like uh, power decks like for example here I have a major power and minor power rework um, that a user on the uh, custom spirit uh, discord created so yeah uh, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all are excited to uh, create and uh, look at other people's uh, custom content. Um, yeah, I'll probably be making those spotlight videos uh, soon, uh, starting with the little light spotlight uh, for this week. And then in a couple weeks when another spotlight goes up, I'll make another video for that. And I might also make some videos for my own custom spirits, but we'll see about that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I want to handle that. So yeah. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.